and cybersecurity is paid for 100% by Walmart. I stopped jobs to lose weight. And uh, <laughs> I wanted to save the public water systems that are under attack. And so I want to learn all I can, so I've got to learn more coding. Uh, I'm Cassidy. I live in Stansbury Park, like Willa, kind of far. Um, well, I, uh, I decided to take this course because, I don't know, there's been a path set before me. Things have fallen into place. It just happened to take in the course. Um, my name is Stacey Hill. Um, I live in Harriman. Um, I always have been interested in tech. Um, always really scared to get involved in it. Um, but things have happened in my life. Um, I have to create something new for me and for my kids. So that's why I'm here. Um, my name is Heather Michael. I am a mom of eight. I've got four kids in college and four at home. Um, I live out in Tooele, so it's not that far. <laughs> you do live in Tooele? Uh, you guys can carpool. We, we should carpool. carpool. Yeah. We could totally do carpool. She has a van, I saw her. Um, <laughs> my <laughs> husband graduated from the U with his master's in computer science, engineering, something. I always, people ask me, what does your husband do? I'm like, I don't know, something on the computer. <laughs> and now that um, things are moving faster, he introduced it to me and was showing me stuff, and uh, he's the one that showed me the tech moms, and so I got on and read about it, and I'm jumping in feet first. This is very scary for me. I didn't do college at all, and like I said, I've been home since I was 20 raising kids. My oldest is 29, and my youngest is five. So this is, this is huge for me. Like, awesome. Very scary. <laughs> but yes, let's go. Hi, uh, my name is Janet. I live in Salt Lake City. And I feel like tech is here to stay and it's the future. And I want to be part of it. And I'm here. So very thankful uh, to be part of the project. So that's why I'm here. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. Jen's great. You can get to know her much. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, um, my name is Kim Starr. I live in Mill Creek. Um, I work for Corporate America and I've been doing well, but I've seen how people can move quickly with basic tech skills. And I feel like I needed the direction of tech moms, um, but I'm excited to move here and be a part of this. Hi guys, I'm Candy Anderson, or Candace Camille Anderson. I'm a licensed massage therapist. I did not go to college. I, um, I barely graduated high school. Um, I come from, an, I'm a single mom, and I come from a pretty uh, scary background, but um, as far as being married to that ex, but um, I, I'm here because I want to not rely on another person to um, to uh, be my financial support. I need to rely on myself. So I'm here to rely on myself and only me. That's all I can have, that's all I can do. So, that's so, awesome. so excited. My name is Maya, I live in North Salt Lake. Um, I saw Tech Moms in KSL, I'm a glad I did. Um, and the reason why I applied is because I found, I work for American Express, so lately I've been applying for higher positions, like analyst roles and um, data management and things like that, and it's been a huge roadblock with not knowing or not being tech savvy, I guess. So that's why. Awesome. My name's Kylie Arpolio, and I work for 1-800-CONTACTS. Um, this year's the year for me. I want to learn some more. I have four kids. The youngest is seven. The oldest is 18. And yeah, it's just my year, I guess. Hey, hey. Oh, hey here. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Lindsay. Every time you say Lindsay, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Different Lindsay. <laughs> um, I live in West Jordan, like right up the street, easy commute. Um, I have worked in the same company, agriculture lending, for the past 22 years. 
And I'm trying to figure out what I want to do when I grow up. So, <laughs> you know, I might want to switch after all this time. So that's why I'm here. <laughs> My name, oops, my name is Kelly Nelson. Um, I grew up here, but just moved back here. I was in the Midwest for a bunch of years, um, and just moved back to Sandy. Um, I, I am transitioning into being a single mom right now, and have three kids. And um, while I have a bachelor's degree, it's not something, it's not in a field that um, can really support my family. Um, and so this kind of fell into my lap, like many of you, at just the right time. And um, all the things, all the good things that uh, we've talked about in the tech industry in terms of being flexible and um, good paying jobs and things like that are um, reasons why I want to, to go into the tech industry and find a job that will allow me to be a good mom. Okay, I'm sorry for my English. Hopefully you can understand me. My name is Saira Sonida. I live in West Jordan. I'm a grandma of two kids. And I have a teenager of 13. And the reason why I'm here is um, now all the communication with each other is through the email, or through things that I, I don't know how to handle. And also I work myself selling airline tickets. And do you know now with internet it's really hard uh, to compete with that, so I want to look the way to to learn to make my business go up to the internet and heal my community because I know there are a lot of um, Hispanic community who doesn't know how to work with these things, and I really would like to do something to help them. So that's why I'm here. Love it. <laughs> my name is Chelsea Kim. And I'm from Holiday, Utah, and I um, have just been a stay-at-home mom for like 10 years and just wanted to do something for myself. I mean, I love staying home and it's been nice, but on the other hand, um, yeah, I just feel like I could be doing more and for myself and ultimately like setting that example too to my kids that I'm not just mom like at home all the time. So yeah. That's kind of what was awesome. driving me to get into it. And I, yeah, also heard about it, like, I think through the news and articles and just, um, yeah, felt like I was lucky to be a part of it. So, awesome. took the opportunity. Hello, um, I'm Denise Justice. Um, I've been a stay at home mom for 10 years and <laughs> um, I have two kids, uh, five and nine. And um, my, my youngest is gonna be going to school full time soon. And that means that I have to get out there and start working <laughs> again. And you know, tech is here to stay. So I think that it's the right path, um, especially for you know, women. Um, I'm glad to see everybody here doing that. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm here. Go forward in my life with it. <laughs> I'm Emily Kern, and I'm terrible with words, so <laughs> I live in Harriman. Um, I have four kids and got married at 19, had my first at 21, and I've literally been doing that all my life. And so I didn't go to college and do, you know, no education background at all. My parents, my grandparents, nobody has education, so I figured I need to be one of the first in my family to have a career and make something of myself. Cool. You're here. Yeah. I'm Christy Collins, I live in South Jordan, and I am <clears throat> preparing for my second act. Uh -huh. <laughs> my kids are going to be graduating from high school soon, and the other thing is um, uh, I got COVID last year, and it wreaked havoc on my lungs, and so my asthma has really been really bad since. So I'll be doing an asthma treatment at some point today. <laughs> so I feel like tech is flexible with needing to work remote or health issues. So I was health issues. I'm just recently moved to Eagle Mountain and um, uh, long story, but <laughs> I'll make it short. 
I um, have been a stay-at-home mom, homeschooler for, oh, it's been like 20 years now, <laughs> over 20 years, um, but recently found that I needed to get a job. I love staying home and I love homeschooling, and so um, I was hoping to find something online. And as I was looking, um, I found it really difficult to break into any careers with that huge gap in, in my career um, in working. And so I know Tech Moms, and when I was, I was doing internet searches and found Tech Moms there, and um, it seemed like a good fit because I've also learned the power of women. And I cry a lot, sorry. <laughs> so I'm gonna cry. When, when we get in a room. You'll find it's okay here. Uh, you welcome it. <laughs> but when women come together, I find there's a lot of power in that. And so I really, um, uh, something about this group resonated with me. Um, I didn't really think about maybe doing tech. I just needed a job that just seems like a good fit. So that's why I'm here. Yeah. I'm not going to take off my mask because I got a kid at home who's medically vulnerable right now. <laughs> but um, I got a long story of <laughs> 20 years in the making. Um, I actually relate a lot to you because at 17 I ended up with custody of my two nephews. <laughs> huh? um, I started college three different times. <laughs> and uh, I got an associate's degree. 12 years ago in graphic design, 10 years ago ended up with um, custody of my niece who got a heart transplant. <laughs> so I have two biological children and I have four adopted children. <laughs> two nephews, two nieces, but they are all mine. So I have six children and um, I am a mother of six, and I am returning into the field because my youngest, who is six years old, is returning to school, and she has recently decided that she doesn't like school, and I want to show her that it is something to actually like because I loved it when I used to go to school, and I want her to love it. Mm -hmm. And I've always liked the tech industry, but I've always liked the art part of it. I've always liked to create the graphics and everything is a part of it, but programming, just like you said, really is the designing and everything, it's, it's creative, it's magical almost. And that's why I'm here is because I want to be the role model that I didn't have. I and I want that. my kids to look up to me, just like my nephews are 27 and 24 now, and they are doing pretty well. And they come home and they have dinner with me and they call me mom and they love me. And they always tell me that they didn't think that they could survive if I hadn't stepped into their life. And I want my daughter who is six now to still have that. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I'm here. Hi, I'm Lydia, and I'm terrified of public speaking, so <laughs> I'll do my best. Um, I'm a mom. I have a four-year-old at home, and I ha I live in South Jordan. Um, I've been like the sole provider for my family for the past like ten, no, like maybe eight years now. Um, my husband has a mental illness. So he has a really hard time um, like holding a steady job. So I have had to fill in that role. Um, I experienced my first burnout uh, last year and um, he has been a huge help despite all of our like mental struggles that we've had. Um, so I'm a huge advocate of mental, like, mental health and all that stuff. Um, and it was finally time to invest in, in myself um, because I've never uh, done that. I've always put my family first. Um, and I learned about the program from my sister-in-law. She actually uh, was part of the cohort, I believe, last last year. And she's now? 
Liza Bell, yeah. yeah. She's um, awesome. She, yes, so she told me all about it. She encouraged me. Um, she's been a huge support as well. Um, and just with her help, and it just really made me want to be here um, and be a part of all of this. So that's why I'm here. You're welcome. Hi, um, my name is Olivia, and I live in Mill Creek. And I have a one year old, and pretty much like everyone else, I just need um, a little boost into a new direction. So I have a lot of like kind of broad goals or visions or whatever, but I never really figured out how to get there. So I feel like this is the right course and just looking at the website it was really inspiring to see um, people who care about women like moving forward in their life so it seems like it's right. <laughs> Hi I'm Camille. I am out in Tula. Um, I yeah it's, <laughs> it's <laughs> not that bad of a drive but it is kind of far. Everybody thinks it's so far. It's, it's not, not really that far. <laughs> I'm, I'm liking it the longer I live out there. Um, but I joined Tech Moms because the tech industry always seemed like something that was so far removed or just like an impossible thing that was just, I was never gonna understand it, never gonna get it. So when I found out about this course, I work at 1-800-CONTACTS, I think you do too, yeah. Um, so when they said it was, yeah, about like women being very supportive and it was gonna be like, it really boosted my confidence of joining the tech industry, so. I'm excited to be here and give it a chance. Awesome. Hi, my name is Juliet Meinzer, and um, I have, I was a stay-at-home mom for many years. Um, I have four kids, but I've always had a side hustle on the side or multiple. And um, when my kids went to school, I followed them into the elementary school, and I am now a behavior um, health assistant. And I thought that would keep me away from tech totally because I'm not into tech, or I thought I wasn't. And, um, but it ends up I have to track a lot of behaviors and um, draw graphs and do data analysis. And, and I am self-taught, so I, I've, I've gone as far as I possibly can doing that, being self-taught. And I would like to learn from some professionals. Mm -hmm. And, um, also, I have another side hustle going on too. I also sell on eBay, and I would like to build a website for that, or maybe just have one job instead of multiple yeah. <laughs> by getting into tech and being able to further my career. So. Awesome.